I am Dr. Dida Rasburi. I am from Nepal. And then I had the golden opportunity to do my fellowship under this ICU scholarship uh, project in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in April to June in Ludwig Maximilian University, LMU University in Munich, Germany. I was trained in oculoplasty, mm -hmm. plastic and cosmetic surgery, and uh, it was under Professor Hinship uh, in LMU. I started my doing my fellowship uh, after two and a half years of my um, general ophthalmology practice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fellowship uh, actually opened my mind into oculoplasty. You know? like previously, I was just focused into general ophthalmology. But after doing my fellowship, now I am totally an oculoplastic man. Uh, I am doing most of the works uh, uh, of oculoplastic surgery in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing, what I got inspired from that fellowship is that in Nepal, I have established a oculoplastic society in Nepal mm -hmm. uh, with the help of some of the seniors. And that is soon going to be affiliated with the Asia Pacific Oculoplastic Society also very soon. So in Nutshell, uh, what I have to say is uh, it has really uh, uh, developed me into an oculoplastic surgeon now. And uh, I think uh, the exposure in uh, Munich, uh, which I got uh, regarding the hospital exposure, the culture, the management, I think that also helped me a lot <coughs> because uh, soon after completion of my fellowship, uh, after six months, I was appointed as a hospital director there. And at present, I am the hospital director also in, uh, in my hospital. So apart from clinical aspect, uh, managerial aspect, social aspect, and also at a personal level, it has, I think, helped me to in develop into a comprehensive clinician now. I think the fellowship training which I got in Munich LME was very good. Uh, uh, I think the professor, uh, Hinshik, uh, the training, the, the way he provided me the training was also very effective and I learned a lot of things. And one interesting fact is that uh, Professor Hinshik visited my hospital, you know, like, last year and because of this fellowship I had the opportunity to contact with him uh, uh, be in touch with him regularly so he was in the hospital for one week and he also like they also trained me in some of the surgery uh, I think the way I uh, got the fellowship training I think it was good and I didn't expect some in some other way to have it Um, I think uh, while going for the fellowship, the foundation must be very strong, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, and there should be a uh, interest in the subject which they have, which they are planning to do the fellowship. Uh, if they have a strong interest and a strong desire in that subject, then they should only go f in that subject, not like uh, randomly choosing the subject and then going for the fellowship. And another thing is, <coughs> uh, because we are going to the foreign countries with different language and different culture. I think it's very important to learn the language and know a little bit about the country or the places where they are going. I think that will be very helpful for them uh, to adjust to the surrounding very quickly. Otherwise, it may take some time uh, to adapt to the surrounding, the language and culture. And obviously, uh, someone needs to have some sort of experience, maybe one or two years before going for the fellowship. I think these things will be uh, useful before fellowship. Mm -hmm.